Hi, 大家好，我是李老师。Today we are going to learn a very important particle, le. First, let's focus on Chinese temporal system. Chinese is a language without tense markers. What is tense? Tense is about when the action happens in the past, present, or future. When we want to talk about the specific time in Mandarin, we have to use time words. 昨天，明天。For example, if you want to tell others, "I went home at 7:30 yesterday," we have to say, 我昨天七点半回家。Chinese uses several particles to express different aspects. For example, perfective aspect, or this one, or this one. Today, we will focus on perfective aspect with particle le. Le has a lot of uses. We will focus on this function: whether the action is complete in a certain time frame. And for example, let's see how to ask if an action is complete. Your mom is calling you. She probably will ask this question: 你吃晚饭了吗 Did you have dinner yet? 你吃晚饭了吗 And if you did, you say: 我吃了我吃了 If you didn't, please use 没 You can say: 我没吃我没吃 So structure is like this way. Subject, may plus verb. 我没吃 Or maybe you just want to say I haven't eaten yet. I will eat later. So you can use 还没还没我还没吃 Let's see another example. Your mom asks you about homework. 功课功课你做了吗 If you did. You say, 我做了 If you didn't, you say, 我没做 Or you say, actually, I have a plan. I just haven't started yet. 我还没做 Okay. You see your classmate behave like this way. You will want to ask him some questions. What happened? 你怎么了你怎么了 And your classmate told you. Last night, 昨天晚上，我喝茶了，所以我没睡觉。From his reply, we know 喝茶了 this action is complete. Now we are curious about more information about 茶 so we can ask how many. 你喝了几杯茶？你喝了几杯茶？ And how to reply? Three cups. 我喝了三杯茶 So the structure is like this one: subject plus verb plus the number, measure word, noun. 我喝了三杯茶 Okay. Let's see another example. 他常常喝咖啡他今天喝咖啡了吗 Hmm. 他今天喝了，他今天喝了几杯 ？How many cups？ 他今天喝了四杯咖啡。哦、oh, ，很多，为什么？因为他明天有两个考试 ，exams 考试，所以。他喝了四杯咖啡 Now let's check the differences between a sentence with the or without the. For example, I went to my friend's place yesterday. You can say, 我昨天去朋友家 or 我昨天去朋友家了 What's the differences? The first one, we can hear a specific time, 昨天 and the second sentence. We can know more information. Completion, specific time, completion. So the scenario might be like this: When somebody questions you, "Did you really go to your friend's place yesterday?" and you will use the second one to reply, 我昨天去朋友家了 And let's check the differences between a sentence with 没 or 不 
For example, you want to explain why you didn't go to your friend's place yesterday. You can say that this way: 我昨天没去，是因为我有事。Or this one: 我昨天不去，是因为我有事。What's the difference? Is the first one. 没 means something is not complete, but 不 means you decide not to go. So it all relies on your intentions. What did you want to let the listener know? I hope you have fun learning today. I will see you next time. 再见。